Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Forex Week in Review for the 28 majors and minors and 5 exotics. And I'm going to start off with the Euro Aussie dollar. I want to go ahead and highlight this color code. Now, if it's a red or a green flag here, this is what its previous COT report reflected in terms of strong selling positions. So basically, for it to order a sell position, you have to have the institutional retail, large or small specs, north of the 50% line, and commercials south of 50% line, and either equal to or less than its average, or six month average. So for Euro Aussie dollar, nice trades overall for the week, gains of $522. Euro Canadian dollar, we had a little bit of a consolidation right here at the 200, a loss of $223. Euro Swiss franc, uh, kind of same thing, a uh, little bit of a J hook formation forming here. Could have more price action to the downside. Gain of 11, or break even. Same with Euro British Pound, kind of consolidating here. Gain of 21. Euro Japanese Yen, which was our biggest gainer and our best position for last week. Start off on a nice Monday. All the way down to this Z3, Z3 excursion went past it. Closed right at the previous Z3, Z3 excursion. And went down all the way to touch the 200 past this. Just something to note, the power of these Z3 excursions are incredible in terms of overall support and resistance. Gain of $2,867. Euro New Zealand also kind of consolidated here. Loss of $252. Euro USD, nice overall gains. Now before I had the color code, I actually had eyeball it. So it was equal to, like I said, equal to or less than. It was 42 and 42. This actually calculates down to the decimal. So it was highlighted a little bit less there than the average for the commercials. Nice overall gains to the downside, $903. British pound Canadian dollar also kind of hovering here around the RL270, as you can see here in purple, and right between that and the Dragon. A lot of consolidation here before breaking down on Friday below it. Loss of $521. British pound, US dollar. Something to note with massive move down on the commercials when it gets to be that significant in terms of overall drops like from 60% to 55% or at least a 5% drop on commercials take notice because this started as a strong buy and then for the week was worse performing as far as overall the loss of $1,215 Zealand CAD same thing kind of consolidating at the top here pretty strong as far as the New Zealand dollar is concerned versus the Canadian dollar break even Zealand Swiss franc, also same thing. Gain of overall $130. U.S. Canadian dollar, same thing. Looking for on my loss for the week, $299. And the same thing here, a little retracement. But as you can see here, it's moved from 77% to 73 or 74, and then moved another. So 4%, 4 to 5% moves with commercials are pretty significant in retracement. When it moves to in the opposite direction of the overall crowd, take notice and, and maximize your risk management on these trades. But overall, loss for the week of $480. As mentioned uh, before last week, our strongest buy positioning was the Swiss franc South African Rand. As you can see here, it started to trend up. Overall gains for the week, $857. Went up, touched the Z3 excursion, and no further trade the rest of the week. Euro South African Rand, this is before the color code. Overall loss on Monday of $532. British Pound South African Rand, same thing. Some nice overall gains for the week of $343. And no other trades the rest of the week for the others. With all of the all of these trades, we still were positive for the week for both the 28 majors and minors. $1,466 and $668 for the exotics. Overall gain was $2,134. Now, what we did learn from last week to this week, because last week was over 17 k that if we stick to our positioning in terms of 
strong sells positioning and strong buy positioning. It minimizes our risk exposure and maximizes our gains. So our two drawdown days were Monday and Friday for the 28 majors and minors and Monday and Wednesday for the exotics. So just keep that in mind in terms of overall process going forward. We're going to be focused on the strongest sells, which are flagged red, and the strongest buys, which are flagged green. Over here, if it's color-coded in, in cyan or light blue, they are weak buys. That means the commercials are less than their six-month average. Or if they're highlighted in pink, the commercials are north of their six-month average, but still crowded out over here. So this is what we had highlighted for last week prior to the color coding. If they're highlighted in purple, they're mixed and we don't touch them. This is what we have for next week. We have Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar, Aussie dollar, Japanese yen, Euro, Canadian dollar, Euro, Swiss franc, Euro, British pound, Euro, Japanese yen, Euro, New Zealand, Euro, US dollar, Euro, South African rand, British pound, Canadian dollar, New Zealand, Canadian dollar, New Zealand, Swiss franc, US dollar, Canadian dollar, US dollar, Swiss franc, and US dollar, Japanese yen, and South African rand, Japanese yen. And the only sole buyer out there, as far as positioning is concerned, is the Swiss franc, South African rand still. We have one weak buy, which is US dollar, Mexican peso, and weak sells are Euro, Aussie dollar, British pound, Swiss franc, British pound, Japanese yen, and New Zealand Japanese yen. Now, out of all of these strong sells, the US dollar Swiss franc is crowded the most with 73% of commercial short and 81% of large speculators positioned long. Followed by US dollar Japanese yen, 71% short on the commercials and 82% long on the large speculators. And the third place positioned is the South African Rand Japanese yen, 70% crowded short on the commercials, and for the institutional, 80% crowded long. And since we only have one strong buy recommendation, commercials are crowded 69% long, institutional are crowded short 74%. Well, that's all I have for the Forex Week in Review. If you're interested in these kind of strategies going forward, or programming in both PineScript or Python, and auto trading, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.